So let's take a look at 5.6 uh, now. Why are double crossover events expected less frequently than single crossover events? So, uh, well, for a double crossover, we need to consider three genes. So let's say, uh, let's, take a, um, let's take an individual with a heterozygous for A, B, and C, three linked genes. And this time, I'm going to draw a tetrad on its side here. So here's one chromosome, and I'm going to put the genes in right here, and here's big A, big B, big C, and again big A, big B, big C. And I can draw the other one down here, and this is the homologous chromosome. And we have little a, little b, little c, little a, little b, little c. OK, so here we have an interval. Let's call this interval 1. I wish I had more room here. So interval 1. And here we have interval 2. OK, so how about this? The distance between a and b, let's say that's 10 centimorgans. And the distance between little b and little c here, well, let's say this is 20 centimorgans. So the, the probability of us seeing a crossing over between a and b here, well, that's going to be 0 0.10. So the probability of that crossing over happening between a and b will be 0 0.10. Uh, the probability between b and c so again, the crossing over is going to happen here. Well, that's going to be 0 0.20. So we have a 0 0.10 probability over here, 10%, or 0 0.20 probability over here for single crossing over between uh, B and C over here. So the, the likelihood of a double crossover, so the likelihood of a double crossover occurring between both A and B and B and C is going to be 0.10 times 0 0.20, because you need both of those events to happen at the same time in order to get a double crossover. So then that probability is going to be something like 0 0.02. Um, pretty sure about that. should probably break out the calculator just to make sure. Um, but now, let's go with 0 0.02. So and that, it's going to work like that all the time. So any two single crossovers are always going to be uh, more frequent than the double crossover. Um, um, just because you need both of those single crossovers to occur in order to see that double crossover.